Hi, I'm David Baxter. I'm Amy Hawkins. And welcome to Cabarrus This Week. And this week we are at the Patriots Elementary School, brand new school. Smells like it too. Mm, it does. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tell you a lot about that and a lot of other things. So grab that pen and paper so you can jot that info down. If you miss something, don't worry about it. We'll give a web address and an email address at the end of the show. Well, summer is almost over. And for all you kids oh, out man, there. What are you talking about? It's almost <laughs> over. Oh, gosh. Okay. Wednesday, August 25th is back to school time for all the public schools in Cabarrus County. Um, and for some students, they're going to be starting a new school. Um, Cabarrus County Public School System is opening three new schools this school year. Uh, in addition to Patriots Elementary where we are now, there's also a replacement for the A.T. Allen Elementary School and also Hickory Ridge Middle School is opening this year. Now, we are in Patriots Elementary School, which is one of the new prototypes for elementary schools in Cabarrus County. In fact, Boger and Fur Elementary Schools um, that have been open for a couple years. Um, same floor plan. Um, A.T. Allen also has the same floor plan. So um, as you look at this school, you'll you'll notice that it's similar to some of the other new schools in Cabarrus County. Um, this school is located right next to C.C. Griffin Middle School, which is right off of Rocky River Road. Um, what makes the school unique is its two-story classroom wing uh, for grades second through the fifth grades that was designed to reduce the school's footprint and save costs. And all all the other new elementary schools also have that. Also, like all other new elementary schools, Patriots Elementary is designed to accommodate a thousand students. Phil Hull is the principal here at this beautiful new elementary school, and it truly is. It has a lot of special um, components. Um, an exceptional children's area, um, which is just wonderfully um, planned and designed. Um, the art rooms, the music rooms, um, a beautiful gym that um, the floor for that gym was funded by our Cabarrus County Parks, um, so that it also can be used for community use as well. Um, it's just a wonderful new school. Um, Smart boards in every classroom, computers um, throughout the school with wireless um, capability in the future, um, as so many of the new schools have. So um, I know there's going to be a lot of excited kids coming coming back <laughs> this year. Well, in addition to Patriots, A.T. Allen Elementary School is also opening its door to a brand new school. And that is going to replace a school that was located on a heavy traffic portion of Highway 49 in Concord. Now, the A.T. Allen Elementary School is now located on Abilene Road, which is really just a stone's throw from the old property. Um, in addition, Hickory Ridge Middle School also opens this year on property adjacent to Hickory Ridge High School in Harrisburg, and that school will accommodate 1,200 students. All three new schools um, incorporate a variety of energy conservation features and are designed to um, reduce cost and um, to be efficiently managed and operated. Now, Cabarrus County Schools will host open houses for all schools in the system. Coming up, all Cabarrus County System High Schools will have open house from 5.30 until 7.30 p.m. on Thursday, August 19th. All the middle schools in the Cabarrus County System will have open house from 5 until 7 p.m. on Friday, August 20th. And all elementary schools in the Cabarrus County System will have open house from 5 until 7 p.m. on Monday, August 23rd. So for more details about back to school information for Cabarrus County Schools, just log on ccsweb.cabarrus.k12.nc.us. Now, Cabarrus County is going to be mailing out the 2010 property tax bills for real estate, pro personal, and business property taxes on August the 20th. Now, the payment's due on September the 1st, that's 2010, for all the real and personal property taxes. Now, these tax bills are going to be arriving about a month later because there were some technological problems and a switching out of to a new software. And uh, there's a three month grace period to pay these taxes without penalty. All taxes must be paid in full before the delinquent date of January 6, 2011 to avoid penalties and interest. Now property with overdue taxes from previous years, now that's subject to foreclosure. So for uh, these property owners who do not have an escrow for real estate taxes, we can have a convenient monthly payment plans that are available to reduce that burden of kind of making that one lump sum mm -hmm. type of payment. Now the monthly payment plan is not available for motor vehicle tax. For more information about all the property taxes or setting up a payment schedule, just contact the Cabarrus County Tax Collector's Office at 704-920-2119. 
Well, remember while you are out shopping for all your back to school items, um, be sure to pick up your advance tickets for the Cabarrus County Fair while you are out as well. Of course, um, when school starts back, that means that the fair is not far uh, just behind. around the corner. There um, you go. Kicking off September 10th in Cabarrus County, and uh, we are excited. It's going to be an awesome fair this year. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, included with the very low price of admission, um, there are a number of concerts which oh, are going to be awesome. Um, some up and coming country music stars, David Nail and Glory Anna, um, and all that is included in your admission. If you get your tickets in advance, it's just $5 <laughs> for wow. all the rides, all the entertainment, plus to see these right. great bands in the arena, inside uh, Cabrera. Well, arena. you have to buy the wristbands okay. for the rides, but uh, all the other stuff That's that goes true. with it. So, for um, ride wristband vouchers, also are right. available in advance, and that those are um, also. Also at a discount of $15. So if you get your uh, advanced admission and advanced mm -hmm. ride wristband vouchers, um, you can go to the fair and enjoy everything um, for $15. Um, except, of course, you know, if you want to get a cotton candy or something, that'll be a little extra. <laughs> yeah. but, um, Those deep fried yeah. Snickers bars, there you go. That's, that's a little extra there. Now, the Cabarrus County Fair will be held September 10th through the 18th at Cabarrus Arena and Event Center in Concord. Um, you can pick up your advance tickets at the Guest Services booth at Concord Mills or at the Cabarrus Arena. Um, box office. Uh, so be sure to check that out for more information about advanced tickets and all the great things that are going to be going oh, yeah. on at the Cabarrus County Fair. Just log on to CabarrusCountyFair.com. Now are you ready to make a bigger impact on planet Earth? Well join us for a free <laughs> workshop on Thursday, August the 19th. It's beyond recycling. Mm -hmm. Beyond it. <laughs> Not just recycling, but beyond recycling. Okay, and you'll learn how items are sorted, recycled, and, you know, kind of um, how you can be recycled, how to prepare items for recycling. You also can learn about composting, practical ways to kind of repurpose those everyday items because there's some stuff that you can just reuse and don't have to recycle. Mm -hmm. So the Beyond Recycling Workshop will be held on Thursday, August 19th from 6.30 until 8.30 p.m. at the Cabarrus Household Waste Facility off Highway 49 in Concord. To register, log on to cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner. Type in the word recycling in the class search box. For more information, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash liveitup slash learninglabs.html. You know, and you can spend the day or the afternoon at the dump. No, I was just kidding. <laughs> it's it is not, not the dump. It's not the dump. It's the recycling center. I was just goofing. <laughs> So, if you would like to put your putting skills to the test, uh, great opportunity. Cabarrus County Parks is offering a mini golf tournament. Now, this is, um, they've had parent child tournaments. This one is for co ed teams of any age level. Um, so, just grab your partner, come out to the uh, mini golf tournament. It's going to be held on Saturday, August 21st at Frank List Park. Registration is open to teams of one female or one and one male of any age. Um, check in and registration is from noon until 12.30 p.m. on Saturday and the registration fee is $5 per person. The tournament will begin at 12.30. Awards will be presented immediate, immediately following the competition of all rounds. Players may either bring their own clubs or use those provided by the park. You can register online by going to cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner. Type mini golf in the class search box. For more information, just call Franklis Park at 704-920-2700. Now, come on, join out your, with your park rangers and your friends and family on Saturday, August 21st for a guided nature tour through the trails. Just come on out and discover all the beauty there at the park. Walk begins at 10 a.m. You meet in front of the office slash restroom buildings at North Cabarrus Park. Registration is not required. Details are at cabarruscounty.us slash parks. That's a beautiful park. If you haven't been out there, you really, and this would be a great way to kind of see it all. Mm -hmm. Well, you want to come to the Stories Under the Stars to watch an exciting show by magician Scott Link. It's going to be outside on the patio at the Kannapolis branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library um, Saturday, August 21st. Just bring a blanket or a lawn chair and a cool beverage. Um, popcorn is provided by the Gym Theater. Now, Stories Under the Stars will be held 7 p.m. Saturday, August 21st. It's open to all ages right there on the patio, right under the stars. It's a wonderful, oh, wonderful event um, right there at the Kannapolis branch of Cabarrus County. Public Library. For more details, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash library.
And that popcorn from the gym theater? It's awesome. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> okay. Now, young children can start uh, the school year outright with a trip to the library for a very special story time. The Concord branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library is going to offer a free story time for ages 3 to 8 years old. Story time will be featured at 4 p.m. on Wednesday, August 25th at the Concord branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library. For more information, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash library. Well, um, a little bit of sad news. The um, Mount Pleasant library manager, Kate Moore, is going to be oh, retiring yeah. this month after 14 oh, wow. years of service. And I know she's made so many wonderful friends, um, yeah. kids that have grown up uh, going to the library there in Mount Pleasant. Um, but there is going to be a celebration of her years of service on August 25th from 3 until 7 p.m. Um, you can drop by and uh, give her um, best wishes in her retirement, maybe share a memory of uh, the time there at the library right. with her, some words of encouragement. Um, so you could come by, have some light refreshments, and uh, send Kate off to her next venture right. in life. For more information about this library or others in the Cabarrus County Public Library System, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash library. Kate's a really nice lady. She is. Yeah. She's always been really gracious to us every time mm -hmm. we've gone out there. Now our uh, now people, you know, always telling you that yours is the best, you know, is that always, you know, people coming up to you constantly, stopping you on the street, <laughs> oh, I don't know about that, <laughs> then they, okay, well show us, if you're that good, then just show us. Now all you got to do is enter your best at the fair and win bragging rights and money, mm. okay. I like that. That's pretty good. <laughs> now, there's a number of categories to choose from, and categories are also from children and adults. And among them, there's everything from breads, cookies, pies, quilts, photographs, plants, flowers, herbs, tabletop decor, canned goods, produce of any kind that you can imagine, sewing projects, crafts, and many more. So you can enter your prize fowl. So if you've got a pet chicken or something, you know, Put them right there in the fair. And also bunnies, those are cool, you know, mm. little cute bunnies there. And livestock of any type and many varieties. So that pretty much wide open, I think, you know. <laughs> so if you got something you want to showcase, the fair is the place to and do it. And they came two by two. And they came two by two, really. For <laughs> details, just call the Cabarrus County Fair. It's 704-920-3282. Or just log on to cabarruscountyfair.com slash contest dot a s p x there you go. Oh, that would be great. That, 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 is, really. that is a great way to, and there are so many wonderful um, exhibits. I love oh, just yeah. going through and seeing um, all the different um, exhibits and every, everything, all the best. I mean, there are, we oh. have a lot of talented folks out there. So, so sign up and get it. Show us there. your best. <laughs> there you go. Well, if you are looking for a way to um, reach close to 40,000 individuals right here in Cabarrus County uh, to build awareness for your businesses or your service organizations, um, services or programs um, or products, then Channel 22 is the place to be. Absolutely. Um, there are now opportunities for um, promotional advertising on Channel 22. So if your business or organization is interested in that, this is in partnership with the Cabarrus County right. Fair. Um, for a partnership of $1,000 with the Cabarrus County Fair, um, that part of that deal will be a sponsorship ad that will run um, every day, several times a day throughout right. um, the two week, a two week run before right. and during the fair. So um, a wonderful opportunity um, to get your business or organization's message out there. To receive more information on that, um, just call the Cabarrus County Fair Office at 704-920-3282 or you can email Kate Parker at the fair at kmparker at cabarruscounty.us. Now, I know we've covered a lot of information today, so if you miss something, no, not a problem. Just go to our web address, which is cabarruscounty.us, and there's a little search box up there, A through Z. You can pretty much find anything. If you have any problems, just shoot us an email at uh, channel22, cabarruscounty.us. And, of course, one of the best ways to get information about all the things going on in Cabarrus County, um, what we talk about on Cabarrus this week, as well as extra items there, um, sign up for our email newsletter, which you can do also on our website, cabarruscounty.us. Click the Join Our Mailing List link right at the top left. 
Type in your email address, and then you will start getting a plethora of information. Everything. Um, each week, right in your email box, so you can have all your phone numbers, website addresses right there. Um, great way to plan your week ahead. Oh, absolutely. Um, all the wonderful things going on right here in Cabarrus County. Now, you know, if you have family or friends that don't have Time Warner Cable and can't watch us on TV, well, you can just go to our web address, which is CabarrusCounty.us, and uh, right there on the home page, you see a little video screen, and there's a little Channel 22 icon and a YouTube icon and just click on those and uh, you can watch us on demand and also all the other programs that we have here on Cabiris, you know, Cabiris this week and Channel 22. Also, Historical Moments. We've got David Gofor, Successful Gardener. We have all sorts of different things. Uh, Perfect Pet for You. All kinds of different programs so you can watch them on demand and uh, have a good time. Well, it was great being out here at Patriots Elementary. It is a beautiful, beautiful new school, um, Patriots Elementary School. All the other new schools right. that are opening this year. Um, best wishes to all the students, um, elementary Absolutely. through high school and college that are going to be starting a new school year. Um, may it be a wonderful learning experience and um, safe and good time. Absolutely. And have a good time. So until next week, you have a great one.